one of those days, you get out of bed, you take a shower, you air dry by swinging through the city. And then out of nowhere, some jerk in a robo suit attacks you. Ow! Well, this is definitely one of those days. Oh, plus, I think I forgot to brush my teeth. Taking you down will be easy, Spider-Man. Okay, Hotshot. That sucker punch surprised me, but now you've got my attention. What I want is your life! Sorry, I'm actually using it right now. Seems like every Joker in town wants to be my arch nemesis these days. Increase exothermal bolts! Whoa, that's a neat trick. Have you seen this one? Hello? Hey, Pete. You on your way? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not gonna make it. My schedule kind of blew up today. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I've got some news I wanted to share with you in person, but I guess I can tell you over the phone. Yeah, but you know, wait. I would really like to give you my full attention. I guess so. I just thought you should be the first to know that. Great! I'll call you back later. Yeah, whatever. Who are you talking to? That's for me to know. You to stand still while I rip the wiring from your power pack. Hey, what are you? Ah, those power circuits? Looks like you can't pull off that little anti-web trick, can you? Now, let's see who you really are. Self-destruct initiated. One minute to self-destruct. Fifteen million. Oh, countdowns are never good. This thing's too complicated to defuse here. But if I remove the dangerous part... Spidey feels the pressure. He's going for the gold. He spins and... Yes! He's done it! Spidey wins the gold! He... And why is my Spidey sense still tingling? Oh, come on! The head was just the countdown clock? Who makes these things? Okay, that thing probably weighs 400 pounds. If I want to propel it out of harm's way against an average wind speed of 12 miles per hour, the trajectory should be... Hey! You're Spider-Man, right? Cool. Hey, can you leave a message on my friend Phil's phone? A little busy at the moment. Carry the one. And... Got it! Where does your friend live? Jersey. Bill, this is Spider-Man. Shut your windows. Five. And that's the power of geometry. Alert. First period in ten minutes. Nice. This new alarm system I created, I won't ever be late for class again. Maybe a little late. I'll clean it up. Oh, I had him! Relax, young Smythe. You control my slayers as well as your father does. Welcome to Osborne Academy. Come on, Harry. Answer your phone. Hello? Harry! It's Peter. What did you want to tell me? I've been cleared of all charges. <laughs> I'm back, baby! Yes! Harry is in the house! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I tried to tell you. No, I'm just happy I didn't miss the celebration. We should celebrate. Harry is a big part of the school, so we should do something the whole school can take part in. Any ideas? Let's have another science fair. No way, a physics tournament. All good options, but maybe something different this time. Alexi, how do they celebrate in your country? Math Olympics, baby! Loser shovels snow. Phew. I was afraid you were going to suggest a dance. A dance? That's perfect. We'll have a dance uh -huh. this Saturday night. Great idea, Peter. Uh, uh, come on. Excellent! I was award-winning dancer at old school. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Is that... Pimple? But I, I have to look best for Saturday. <laughs> Ow! 
Wow! Alexi! Anya! Wait up! A dance? <sighs> Thanks a lot, Parker. And that's how Horizon High decided to have its first ever dance. I didn't want a dance. I don't even know how to dance. I'm a scientist. Relax, Peter. My Uncle Raymond is a renowned scientist, and he taught me to two-step in an afternoon. It's all about angles. And you've got till Saturday. Uh, Saturday, and I still don't know how to dance. You hungry? I figured you need to carb up if you're gonna boogie down on that dance floor. Uh, I don't like any of the words in that sentence, Aunt May. I don't even want to go tonight. But this is Harry's comeback party, so I can't miss it. Dancing isn't so bad, Peter. You just need to find your rhythm. Uh, where's a supervillain when you need one? Come on in, Peter. Hey, sorry I'm late. This stupid tie set me back half an hour. The tying of bow ties is a dying art, Pete. That's why you have to embrace the modern age. You didn't design a bow tying machine, did you? Nope, I bought a clip on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you're back at Horizon, Harry. So how mad was your dad when you told him you were leaving Osborne Academy? We haven't spoken about it yet, but he wants to see me when he's done with his meeting. Why have you returned, Raymond? I told you, there's nothing available for you at Oscorp. Yes, but with the creation of the Osborne Academy, I thought you might need some faculty. In exchange for what? No more spider experiments, I hope. Oscorp's board of trustees is still shaking from that one. We were forced to confiscate it from you, if I remember correctly. I've created something new, something bold. My new serum will change how we think of hybridization. I'm listening. In two hours' time, one of Horizon High's students is going to undergo some significant changes. Have a good day, sir. Oh, I plan to. Hey, song dude! Ow! Hey! I plan to be on hand to record the results. Interesting. Get me proof of your results and we'll talk about a possible faculty position. Thank you, Norman. And then she starts dancing like she's in some disco movie. No way! Harry, before you go, a word? I would say congratulations on being exonerated, but you know I never believed you to be at fault. <sighs> Thank you, Dad. But I just have to wonder, why return to Horizon High? Sure, they have equally impressive equipment, but do they have your back? It certainly didn't seem so during your suspension. I appreciate everything you've done for me, Dad. It's just... I thought I could make a name for myself. At Horizon... Make no mistake, Harry. No matter what you accomplish in life, you will always have the name I provided you. So why not take advantage of all that comes with it? Harry, I poured my soul into the Osborne Academy to save you the embarrassment of crawling back to that school. How do you think it would look if you abandoned me? I beg you, as your father, please stay. I'll... I'll think about it, Dad. I have to go. Pete's waiting on me. <laughs> this is my song! It was really nice of you to volunteer to chaperone, Uncle Raymond. Especially on such short notice. Of course. <laughs> Alexi, are you okay? I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just a headache. Can I have everyone's attention? I wanted to say a few words about why we're here tonight, to welcome Harry Osborne back to Horizon High. As you know, Harry couldn't be with us for a while, and during that time, I think we all felt something. Something that wasn't there before. Oh, 
avoid. And that's because Harry has such a big presence. His heart is bigger. His dreams are bigger. And his generosity is massive. Of course, the same can be said for his ego. But I'll take it all. Because that void has been filled again. And I'm happy to say, welcome back, pal. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You've all worked so hard to make this such a special night, which makes what I'm about to say even harder. I'm not coming back to Horizon High. I've decided to stay at Osborne Academy. doubt he could see me. Rhinos have really bad eyesight. And do you know what they call a group of rhinos? They're called a... Crash! They're called a crash! Right. Let's work with the eyesight. Partner. And I'm not saying it won't be fun, but I've been told I have two left feet. Oh, no, you don't. You're not losing me that easy. Oh, don't you know it takes two to rhino? It also takes a scaffolding and a speaker. You might be thinking of two to tango. Rhino just takes a face full of webbing. Stay back, everyone. Wait until the police arrive. Is everyone okay? I don't know. I found pieces of Alexi's clothes shredded. Oh, no! It ate Alexi! <sighs> that wasn't the point I was making. I've been working on a retinal identification app. And this rhino has the same retinal print as... Alexi Sitsevich. He changed into a rhino? How is that possible? More importantly, can we change him back? Let's take a blood sample so we can start working on a cure. Hey guys, I was, uh, calling the police. What's going on? Harry thinks we should get a sample of this rhino thing's blood. But how are you gonna pierce the flesh? That thing's got armor for skin. Here, let me. Rhinos uh, have a soft underbelly. Ask Miles. He knows. Right, Miles? Huh? Oh, yeah. Soft, soft belly. A little Peter Parker strength. <laughs> Let's get this to the lab. Can anyone tell us what happened? You guys go to work. We'll answer questions here. Okay, the mainframe is working to isolate any foreign enzymes in Alexi's blood. I'll check the DNA sequencing. It's, um, nice being able to work together again, Harry. This is the way it should be. Mm -hmm. Send me those figures. This can't be right. I only know one person who's ever managed to bond particles this way, and that's... Guys, I gotta go. You keep working. I need to when? check something out. What are you... Hmm? The mainframe found the catalyst. Whoa. His DNA is being overpowered by rhinocerotidae genes. Can we untangle them? I can try, but this genetic strain will require its own anti-diffuser. That's Gwen's field. Did Gwen come back this way? Yeah, she was looking for her uncle. I told her I saw him leave during the stampede. She turned white and ran out of here. Said she'd check his house. I should go after her. See how she's doing with that diffuser. You all right here? Yeah. The police are about to haul the big guy out of here. <sighs> Come on, Spidey. Do it faster. Why does Professor Warren have to live so far from school? Uh, Uncle Raymond? 
Are you here? Hello? <gasps> the Jackal! Oh, you remember. Now prepare for a fight you'll never forget! Stay back, young lady! I know the neighborhood's going green! But you don't seem the least bit eco-friendly, let alone regular friendly! Where do you think you're going? Get out of here! But... I can play tug-of-war all day! Okay, so you're more of a red light, green light kind of guy. I get it! going to find you, ever! Maybe now I can dissect you and analyze how Spider-Man can do whatever a spider can. Something about you seems a little too familiar. Gwen! What did you... Jackal is Professor Raymond Warren? Worse. The Jackal is my uncle. I'm sorry. Turns out he was also behind Alexei's transformation into the Rhino. But the good news is, we now have the diffuser needed to cure him. I could swing us across town in no time, but someone should explain things to the police when they get here. I'll stay here and wait with him. He is family, after all. Pete! Alexei rhinoed out again. Don't come back here. This place is a madhouse. I couldn't find the cure. Don't worry. Gwen did. She sent it over with... Spider-Man. Boy, rhinos don't sleep very long, do they? Whoa! I've got a little something that'll make you more human. Just sit still for a sec. Hopefully this will distract you. Hey, it's your favorite song, Alexi. Now show us that fancy footwork. Looks like music didn't soothe this savage beast. But maybe 30 cc's of antidote will. Did I win dance competition? <laughs> you were a smashing success, Alexei. Excellent. Disgraced Professor Raymond Warren is in the news again, this time for allegedly experimenting on teenagers. Alexei Sitsevich, a student at Horizon High, suffered a unique reaction when he was transformed into a genetically modified human rhinoceros. Fortunately, the quick-thinking students of Horizon not only subdued Sitsevich, but also created a cure. Raymond Warren, now linked to several jackal incidents, remains in police custody. You were right, Raymond. You would have made a fine addition to Osborne Academy. Alas. Huh? I just don't get it, Peter. Why would Uncle Raymond do this? He's the one who got me into science in the first place. Why would he betray everything he taught me to stand for? <laughs> Gwen, there's not much I can say, but, well, my uncle got me into science too. He once told me that with great power comes great responsibility. It seems like your uncle just lost sight of that. But if I've learned anything, it's that even though the person who inspired you might be gone, 
it doesn't mean he can't still be here. Or here. Or here? Yeah. That was something my uncle came up with. I figured it had an important meaning. Thanks for being an important friend. Despite all the chaos, it was great working with you again, Harry. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Peter, we talked about this. What am I supposed to say to my father? Uh, tell him you don't want to go to Oz Academy. <laughs> it's not that easy, Peter. You don't understand. You don't have a father you have to answer to. I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that. I, I just... I can't say no to him when he's given me so much. I get it. Well, if we learned anything this weekend, it's that maybe we should forget science and enroll in dance class instead. Oh, I don't know. I thought I was pretty good. <laughs> Let's just stick to what we're good at. And what's that? Being best friends, even if we are at different schools. That is music to my ears. Stick to what I'm good at, huh? Well, I don't know if I'm good at it yet. But I'm definitely getting better at being Spider-Man!